this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so one of my subscribers in the comment section was asking me if I was going to talk about uh, Cassius Cheney and Khan Sheehan picking up victories yesterday. And you kind of read my mind, bro, because I was going to talk about those fights, and there was another fight I was going to get to that's going to happen today. But yes, yesterday uh, I, I was able to catch the uh, Khan Sheehan versus uh, Zasalik fight um, on YouTube. It was on Box Nation. I will leave the uh, link to that fight in the description box if you haven't got to watch it. But eight rounder, Khan Sheehan pretty much dominated uh, the fight. He was throwing some good body shots. Um, Zasalik, that's all he was really giving him was the body. He was, you know, he's a shorter guy um putting up the high guard uh you know just trying to su survive the guy has i think 80 fights so he's been in the ring you know what i mean um she had improved a five and oh but he fought at a good pace you know wasn't really much coming back at him he used the jab he held on the inside when he needed to he's not a huge power puncher um but it wasn't much there given to him to try to land anything on the chin his best bet was trying to land around the guard and just try to work the body to open up something up top, but really couldn't. I mean, Sazalek was just pretty much saying, I, I'm just going to stay in the high guard. Um, I believe like the 53, like it was like 50 something seconds left of the eighth round. And um, Sazalek landed a, a, a right hand to the head of Khan Sheehan. The crowd started cheering, but it uh, looked like Sheehan just kind of slipped a little bit to me. But wasn't really much, you know, he really didn't um, give much there for Sheehan to go off of. He did what he was supposed to do, man. You know, he was in there with somebody who was trying to survive. He was putting his punches together, ran combinations, did what he had to do. Uh, we know that he is with the Fury camp. Uh, he used to be with Virgil Hunter. I know he turned pro. He he was training with Hunter his first, um, when he was getting ready for his first pro fight. You know, I know he did his thing in Ireland in the amateurs. Um... I want to see him in a Turner fight in the pros. I know they fought in the amateurs before, but I think that'd be a good pro fight. Sean Turner and um, Khan Sheehan. But yeah, Sheehan improves a 5-0. and no, Only only one KO, you know, but he likes to use his boxing skills. I think he's like six foot six. You know, he likes to work the jab, move a little bit. You know, but he improved a 5-0, and no, all right? Cassius Cheney, speaking of the Fury camp. He was a part of that camp that got Tyson Fury prepared for his first, that first fight with, well, the only fight with uh, Vladimir Klitschko. Um, he got Fury ready for that. But yeah, Khan Sheehan improved, or uh, Cassius Cheney, sorry, improves to 9 0, 5 knockouts. He did not get a knockout victory. Um, he did beat Tommy Washington Jr. by majority decision. I contacted Cassius and asked him, you know, if is there any footage up? And he says he's still looking. So. Um, hopefully I can watch that fight and see why the judges had it a majority decision. At least that's what it says according to uh, BoxRec. You know, I mean, I guess I could have asked him, but I'm just going off what BoxRec has as far as him winning by majority decision. Um, picked up some rounds, you know, then I, I kind of looked into Tommy Washington Jr. I, his name sounded familiar, and um, I've heard of him before. Nick McZorick had fought him. I've done prospect watches on Nick. Went over his uh, opponents, and yes, he did fight Tommy Washington Jr. Um, Nick Mazurik is what eight and no um, kid. He fights out of Illinois, Polish kid fights out of uh, Illinois, Chicago. Then you have um, he also fought Tayshon Dong. Tommy Washington Jr. did. And he lost to both of those guys, but he does have a victory over Juan Good. That was interesting to me. If, if you're kind of curious, like who the hell is Juan Good? I mean, he, his record's not going to jump out at you, but Juan Good is one of those guys. Um, I thought he actually beat Gili Zhang, you know what I mean? And he had a split decision loss to Ed Lattimore, who was undefeated at the time. And Lattimore ended up having his first loss to um, that fight that was on Showtime against um, uh, Trey Lippy Morrison, Tommy Morrison's son. So, but yeah, guys like Juan Good and, you know, Avery Gibson and Jamal Woods and George Arias, the Brazilian George A Arias, you know, guys like that probably don't have, you know, had to have a lot of losses or their records don't seem all that great but they'll give you a tough go especially if you're a prospect level guy that's on the way up you know they're they're a good measuring stick man to see where your prospect is at but um yeah i seen the tommy washington beat him but rather than that you know he was six wins nine losses and one draw 
But Cheney went in there and did what he had to do. I still haven't seen that fight. I'm just getting the result out there that Cheney did improve the 9 and 0. You know, Cheney's one of the better up and coming prospects, in my opinion. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah, Tom Schwatch, the German prospect, 22 years old. He's 17 and 0, 11 knockouts. He will be fighting today. Um, I haven't seen Schwatz in the ring since last summer when he fought uh, Dennis Lewandowski. That was the same night that uh, both of the Lewandowski brothers, uh, they were both undefeated that night. And Dennis lost to to uh, Schwatz. And then the other Lewandowski brother lost to Ajit Kabayel. You know what I mean? So, And Kabayel just picked up that EBU title. Um, he defeated her if you both. So. But yeah, Tom Schwatz will be in action, man. Good that he's getting back in the ring. He's been out for a while, so I wonder how his conditioning will be. But he will be in there against Ivica Bakirin. A lot of you guys have heard of him. He's been around the block a lot of times. Um, he's been in there with Jonathan Banks and Tony Bellew and uh, Gasayev and I forgot the other guy. He's been in there with, with, with a few guys. You know, and most notably, he was in there uh, last year with Dillian White. That was Dillian White's first fight back after he lost to that loss to Anthony Joshua, you know, so McCarran, you know, I expect Schwash to win this fight, um, he also holds that WBO youth title, I believe he won that, the 90 beat Lewandowski, I believe so, but, you know, Schwartz is rated number 11 by the uh, WBO, so don't be surprised if you see him get a shot as a voluntary defense, if he remains undefeated and keep winning, don't be surprised if you see him get a voluntary WBO title shot, you know what I mean, if it came to that, you know. Um, and I think when the rankings get refreshed and he picks up this victory tonight, which I'm assuming he will, that he may crack the top 10 of the WBO. I guess we'll see because, um, you know, David Hay lost. The rankings may get shook up a little bit, you know, tight. and uh, Huey Fury is getting this title shot, you know what I mean. So we'll see where... Uh, Schwartz ends up in the rankings when they refresh him, but he is rated number 11 right now. He's only 22, you know, so um, I think he's going to dominate this fight. He'll come out using the jab and trying to send up his right hand. He likes to fight in that kind of the Klitschko type of style, using the jab, working behind it, kind of fight straight up a little bit. Um, but Karen's going to move around. He knows how to survive. You know, when he was in there with White, he was moving around using the high guard, you know, just, but he was using his legs, you know, trying to, uh, throw punches when he can, but he just was overwhelmed, you know, but he is a veteran. He does not, he does know how to survive. You know, he was a guy that fought at cruiserweight a lot of his career or smaller weights, you know, so he knows how to move around the ring, knows how to survive, man. But I expect uh, Tom Schwartz to dominate this fight, you know, um, but yeah, man, kind of a roundup of uh, prospects instead of doing individual videos, just put it all together. You know what I mean? So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out.